Greetings, Daniel Preseto for Adobe Photoshop. And today we're going to take a step further into the Mixamo workflow. And this is not an Adobe Fuse model. This was created by an artist named Race Bird, who can be found at racebird.com. Race Bird, as many of you know, is a graphic designer artist who does a lot of consulting for Adobe and one season two of Face Off. And is just a really nice guy. Um, he did this fantastic model. I saw this creature. I said I have to use it for my comic that I'm working on and it's called Advent. The creature is now called Advent and it's just a really creepy thing. And I, and I did not want any textures. It's purposely without textures here. I just wanted it the way it was. I used an OBJ created from a ZBrush and I uploaded the OBJ to Mixamo. When I got it to Mixamo, I selected a just a default neutral idle. This is a neutral idle pose. And then I downloaded the Collada file. After downloading the Collada file, I brought it into my work in my page here. And I will turn this creature on. As you can see, this is the page with it um, and drawn and used. And here is the, the Collada file with uh, a jumping pose in there that I use. And you know, I, I use all kinds of poses and I use different shaders inside Photoshop. And, and what's a shader? Well, a shader is if you select Scene, and go to the Properties panel in the 3D, you'll see Presets, and there's Custom. And in this case, there's different types of, uh, of styles here. And there's a line illustration mode, for example, and you can see um, he gets those great lines in there. And I use some of these lines in this page, as you can see in this page. And this was actually a robot dance um, of the figure, and I just had it in that pose. And if we go back here, the beauty of 3D and the beauty of Mixamo and being able to rig things quickly is to iterate like storyboards or anything that you want um, quickly. So in this case, for example, you know, I could take this model and I could just turn it this way. I could select, you know, the pixels and then paste the pixels. So now I just have pixels to mess around with um, in the page and I can use this however I like. You know, I can do an overlay here um, that you can't see. How about I screen it? Um, and you can use it in the page and it helps you assemble, you know, a comic, a storyboard. You know, it doesn't take away from the work and the painting and the drawing that you still need to do, but it gets you there faster. And if you have a hectic lifestyle that many of us have, you know, families, kids, something like this is extremely valuable. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little bit more context of the possibilities that you can use Mixamo or Fuse with Photoshop and all the possibilities. Um, so... I hope this helps you uh, do more creative things inside Photoshop and using Mixamo and, and other OBJ models. Um, for example, there are a lot of assets that, you know, I have a Joker file that I used, that I created in Mixamo. I have Batman, Wolverine, Halos, Captain America. Superman. There are all kinds of files that you can rig and use. There's even Stan Lee here. Um, so think about it. Show me some stuff on YouTube or anywhere else on social media at Dramanon, twit, Twitter, <laughs> twit, <laughs> tweet about it or use pictures on Instagram. We'd love to see what you're doing. And if you have any questions, leave them on the channel. And thank you for watching.